everything from afar from the Warriors? Um, I mean, from the outside looking in, I mean, the team looks really good. Um, just excited to see Clay back out there, uh, healthy, and then uh, just, just you know, from, from you. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say like the best fit or anything like that, but I, I think um, just along the way I've had different opportunities. Um, you know, New York gave me an opportunity to play there first and foremost, and then going from there to playing Detroit, getting an the opportunity there. Um, so um, the different teams I've been on, you know, it's, it's, it's been uh, a lot of ups and downs, but uh, I, I wouldn't change the journey for anything. I'm, I'm glad that I've been um, where I've been and um, just continue to push forward and continue to prove people wrong. Did the best shooting percentage of your career last year. Yeah, yeah. What went into that? Uh, just a lot of hard work. I mean, um, I think last year it's so crazy. Um, I think last year my lowest scoring out of, out of, um, like per per game, but um, efficiency wise, I had my best year. So um, a lot of teams are kind of doubting me and uh, don't don't think I can do that again. But I'm just only getting better from here. Uh, you know, just just taking it day by day and just continue to put the work in and um, continue to prove myself and then show people uh, what I can do. To your point about kind of being labeled a scorer or a shooter and maybe not a one, Coach Kerr was saying they just like basketball players. Right? Mm -hmm. they, they don't care what position you play. Does that make you a fit here at all? Do you think? Yeah, no, nah, I've um, been excited because, uh, you know, whoever gets the ball goes. And um, from playing pickup to playing uh, like scrimmages and stuff like that with, with the team, I mean, it, it just everybody just kind of free flowing. And, um, and, and, and it's so crazy because it, it kind of reminds me of like trying to so a lot of like uh, read and react and, uh, and that's that's kind of how this is offense kind of style is and uh, it's, it's really simple so you know if you understand basketball you, you can really pick it up really fast and uh, I'm, I'm really learning a lot just, just being with around the guys and seeing their work ethic and, and just seeing what they put in. You mentioned the, the NBA Finals. A, a lot of, of uh, like lessons that I learned. Is there a particular environment along the way, a stop that, that you felt was the best fit for you? Um, I wouldn't necessarily say like the best fit or anything like that, but I, I think um, just along the way I've had different opportunities. Um, you know, New York gave me an opportunity to play there first and foremost, and then going from there to playing Detroit, getting an opportunity there. Um, so um, the different teams I've been on, you know, it's, it's, it's been uh, a lot of ups and downs, but uh, I, I wouldn't change the journey for anything. I'm, I'm glad that I've been. Um, where I've been and um, just continue to push forward and, and continue to prove people wrong. Uh, you had the best shooting percentage of your career last year. Yeah. yeah. What, what went into that? Uh, just a lot of hard work. I mean, um, I think last year, it's so crazy. Um, I think last year was my lowest scoring out of, out of, um, like per, per game, but um, efficiency wise, I had my best year. So um, a lot of teams are kind of doubting me and uh, don't, don't think I can do that again, but I'm just only getting better from here. Uh, you know, just, just taking it day by day and just continue to put the work in and uh, continue to prove myself and then show people uh, what I can do. To your point about kind of being labeled a scorer or a shooter and maybe not a one, Coach Kerr was saying they just like basketball players. Right? Mm -hmm. they, they don't care what position you play. Does that make you a fit here at all, do you think? Yeah, no, nah, I've um, been excited because, uh, you know, whoever gets the ball goes. and. Um, from playing pickup to playing uh, like scrimmages and stuff like that with, with the team. I mean, it, it just everybody just kind of free-flowing. And, uh, and, it, and, it, and it's so crazy because it, it kind of reminds me of like trying to It's a lot of like uh, read and react. And, um, and that's, that's kind of how this is offense kind of style is. And uh, it's, it's really simple. So, you know, if you understand basketball, you, you can really pick it up really fast. And um, I'm really learning a lot just, just being around the guys and seeing their work ethic and, and just seeing what they put in. You mentioned the, the NBA Finals last year. You've been around this league, but to get to that point, what does that do to you? Does it reignite you at all? Does it change your perspective at all? Yeah, no, nah, it made me uh, a lot more hungry um, just to continue to improve my game. But then also, too, just um, to get myself back in that position again. Uh, I was, you know, not able to play in the Finals, but just to get there with the team and um, just see, um, you know, a lot of other good and bad that, you know, I can learn from and, and myself included, um, just sitting there watching. So um, definitely, uh, definitely a lot to take out of it and uh, really just lit a fire underneath me that, hey, my God, I got a lot to do, a lot to prove. Go ahead, Mark, on Zoom. Yeah, uh, looking at last year, when it was Sunday, to the final, 
How do you feel like that situation helped prepare for for your opportunity with the Warriors? Yeah, I mean, being around um, CP, uh, you know, campaign book, uh, those guys like Detroit Moore, those guys really uh, helped me develop my game a lot more. Um, watching, you know, different things I can take away from them uh, and continue to add to my game. So it was really important and really uh, pivotal for me to like, kind of not have my pride in the way and say, oh, well, you know, I'm not playing or hey, this and that. Like, I, I don't want to learn from these guys. But just picking their brains. And uh, I think that was that was important for me, um, just learning, learning how, how can I get better, how can I continue to grow and uh, be the best me that I can be going forward. What have you learned about anything the Warriors do differently in your first couple of days here? Is there anything that sets them apart? Um, I mean, the biggest thing I've, I've noticed uh, thus far is just, I, I think it's, it's, it's kind of like wide open. You don't really like say, hey, look, this guy is the main guy, anything like that. You know, Steph, Clay, all those guys kind of blend in. And um, I think that's, that's the environment, the, the culture that they built here is like, hey, look, everybody wants to you know, be one of the guys, and it's like it's like kind of a welcoming um, organization, and, and I, I really uh, just enjoy just you know the opportunity to like kind of learn from them and just see how they interact with everybody, and, and um, it's pretty cool to, to see like you know um, all the teams I've been on have been great uh, organizations, but uh, you know the, the Warriors organization is you know hand down. You know, you, you look around the league and you always hear about the good work that they put in and um, the stuff that they they talk about, but. To see it in person is is, uh, is really uh, you know hands down one of the best. I heard you're a bit of a sneaker head. Yeah, I know. How many pairs you got? Um, I probably have like sorry to say, but like three thousand pairs of shoes. But um, what's so crazy? I just started my own sneaker brand. It's called Ethics. Ethics the brand, and um, just launched that. Me and my wife. So uh, yeah, stay tuned. I got a lot in store. Um, the shoes will be launching probably middle of October, towards the end of October. So uh, yeah, I'm excited about launching that and um, really uh, putting guys in, in the sneakers and letting them uh, try them out. Uh, a lot of guys have kind of been interested in seeing what I've been wearing. So uh, yeah, stay tuned. What is it uh, about this brand that you think will differentiate you? That's obviously a competitive field. Mm -hmm. what, what do you like about what you guys are doing there? Yeah, no, I mean, I've, I've always been interested in just saying, like, the sneaker world and, and trying to figure out like how can you know you change the game and change the the culture of it all. But um, I was just like, hey, why not? Why not a player start his own sneaker brand and, and do something different? And a lot of guys, you know, I'm not saying it's scared to do, but just it's, it's a lot of like time consuming calls. Like I started when when COVID was going on, so it was a lot of time consuming zooms, a lot of time consuming um, back and forth for samples and stuff like that. So. Um, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot to it. But, um, you know, I, I'm one of those, those guys that I love being an entrepreneur and love just, just putting my foot in, in the door with, with things that sometimes guys don't like to travel down, the roads that guys might travel down. And, you know, even with my career, it's the same thing. I like, I'm going a, a route that a lot of guys haven't been down. So um, just, you know, taking it day by day and learning a lot from different brands and seeing what's some good, what's some bad. Take some examples from old school shoes that I like, shoes that I don't know, some good, some bad. So um, I've just been taking snippets of, hey, how can I kind of continue to build the brand? And then also, too, it's like there's been so many different like campaigns that have happened over the years that, you know, all the bigger brands have done. But, you know, they kind of went away with went away from that. So I'm trying to, you know, bring back a little nostalgia um, from, from that standpoint. Between working on your ball handling and shooting and doing all this, uh, how, do you, how do you find time to sleep? Uh, you know, I, I, you know, I take naps here and there, naps here and there, but uh, it's, it's so crazy, I, I tell my wife this all the time. So I'm, I'm vegan now, I've been vegan for three years now, and it's been like, so crazy to say this, but being from Louisiana, um, people like look at me differently, They're like, oh man, I can't believe it, vegan from Louisiana, but uh, my energy levels are like through the roof now, so like I, I can be up all day just doing, you know, what I need to do on the court. Then when it's time to do stuff off the court, I'm like, all right, well, hey, let's, let's rock and roll. So uh, my team is small, but we're, you know, we're, we're finding ways to just kind of keep chipping away. 
you hinted at the inspiration a little bit. Do you have a favorite uh, sneaker of all time? Ooh. I mean, my, my number one sneaker that, like, that I always look at and uh, has a story behind it is the Jordan 13 He Got Games. Like, that's my number one shoe. Like, I will live and die with that sneaker. But uh, some, some sneakers that have kind of, like, made a difference in, in my life um, and the story behind it, I think, like, the Kobe 5s, like, that's a, that's a, a huge, those are five and fours. Like, the, both of those shoes have, like, made a huge difference in my life. Um, just from the standpoint, like the Mamba mentality and like what Kobe stand, stood for. Um, I mean, then, then being able to like see the, um, during my era, like, you know, MJ is, is always going to be that, that guy that like stands up and say, hey, look, that's, you know, you, you want to be just like him. But then Allen Iverson, like he's a smaller guy like myself and just like puts his body on line every single day, um, works his tail off. So that was another person that I kind of like, wanted to put and embody it into my sneaker, into my um, my brand. So uh, I'm just excited, like I said, I'm just excited about like just being a part of the journey, but then also too, every single day, it's just a new opportunity to just, you know, continue to build it. Andre's got that business acumen off the court too, and you uh, address, asked him to invest? Yeah, yeah, we uh, we, we haven't talked about it yet. He, he actually, today was the first day where he kind of like, he saw me holding him, he was like, let me see these real fast. and so. He kind of like uh, wanted to like, how they feel? What what's going on? What are you what are you doing next? So he kind of just, you know, slowly but surely, guys will start catching on and, and they'll start gaining a little bit a little bit of buzz. Um, you know, I just broke them out during the finals, so that was like kind of the the kind of coming out party for it all. But I think um, as time goes on, I'll probably start getting more and more investors. Um, but right now, just kind of keeping it in house. But yeah, we'll, we'll we'll be we'll be conversating for sure soon enough. Um, Draymond has obviously missed the first two days of practices, and you're a guy that just got here and hasn't really played alongside him. Is that tough for you that he's not here and he's an important part of this team? How does that affect how you work? No, it doesn't. Or, or, or like learn to work alongside him. Yeah. Not here. Yeah. No. No. It, it, it doesn't affect us at all. I mean, and myself included. Like, I think you know when when guys deal with you know family situations, that's that's more important than the game of basketball. So I think that. You know, when he comes back, and like I've mentioned before, it's like everybody's like a, you know, just replace pieces. Like, you know, it, it doesn't really phase the team. Like, it's like everybody kind of picks hand in hand on, on how they interact and how they play together. So, you know, one guy, you know, goes down, another guy steps up. So it's like, it's like a lot of interchangeable pieces. So that's what I, I really enjoyed thus far, you know, in my uh, short, short stint here so far. So. I'm sure when he gets back, he'll be ready to rock, and um, hey, hopefully everything's good with him. Sorry, you keep harping on the sneakers now, but uh, you mentioned ethics as the, as the brand. Is it as obvious as it sounds, or, or tell me the storyline behind how you came up with that? Yeah, so um, so we so at first, it's so funny, I'm, I'm going to tell the, the whole story, but that wasn't the, the initial name. We kind of just were like throwing names at the wall, and, um, and um, it just like, the name that we came up with was too long, and I was like, "Well, let's, let's kind of keep going, going back to the drawing board." And and I thought about hey, my career and, my, and what I've been through, and I was like, "Man, my work ethic." I said, like, "Okay, how can I shorten that?" And then I was like, "Well, ethics." And then we kind of did some research and just tried to see what other brands were out there that kind of held the the name ethics and and whatnot. And um, and then as we went and kind of continued to like trademark it and um, you know, do, do the, the behind the scenes stuff that you, you have to do, it kind of just started working out and uh, nobody had done that for, for a shoe brand. So uh, it kind of just went hand in hand and, uh, and I was like, man, like all I've been through and like my work ethic and what I stand for, like that was like the, the end all be all. So I was like, hey, look, I, I feel like that's, that's the right name. It's the, it's the perfect situation that not just for myself, but like if I wanted to go in the lane of like have, having other athletes, um, other kids that want to be a part of the brand, like that's that's something that they can kind of lay their head on too. It's like everybody has their own story, and I think for myself, like I have my own story, but it might not be somebody else's. So that's why I was like, hey, look, this is this is perfect, and um, and you know when people get a, a, a pair and they uh, have it in their hand, they say, hey, this is my own story. Now I can create my own brand and create my own like kind of uh, significance behind what this stands for for me. So I'm, I'm excited to 
have people with, with, with it in their hands and, and let them create their own story with it as well. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thanks. I appreciate it.